Hello again, folks. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Photoshop Elements as well as Premiere Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2022 looking at some of the new features. In the past, you've been able to manipulate one layer on top of another layer. I'm just going to grab this graphic and drag it from one file into another so that it's overlaid here onto this t-shirt. And I want to show you one of the cool new tools for transforming an object so that you can place it on top of another object. Let's zoom in just a little bit on here. And of course, you know, if I have a layer or a graphic or an image on top of another image, I can do a certain amount of manipulation just by grabbing on the corner handles. I can resize it, I can reposition, I can even rotate it if I want. But if I go under the image menu and look under transform, I'll see that not only there are options for skewing and distorting the image, but brand new to version 2022, there is a warp feature. And this is a pretty advanced feature for reshaping an object. Now I'm placing it on a non-flat surface. I want to make it look like it's on this man's t-shirt, but I would use the same principle if I were say wrapping it around a jar, making a label and making it look like it wrapped around a jar or placing the image on any non-flat surface. Once I've selected the warp tool, you notice I get this little grid over top of it. And if I start dragging on these points, I get Bezier handles. And these Bezier handles can shape this into pretty much any shape I can imagine. So if I want to make it look like this is on this guy's shirt, I want to make it look, because he's facing about three quarters of the way to the left, I want to make it look like the graphic is kind of twisted just a little bit. Maybe it's shaped to his chest somewhat. There we go. I can even grab the middle here and reshape it and round it out. And once you learn to control these Bezier handles, you can do an awful lot. Now that's very nice. I'm going to lock in or commit that current operation. There's my image on top of that t-shirt. We'll back off just a little bit. I could probably affect some blending modes here to this layer and make it look even more like it was part of the shirt. But as you can see, the main thing is that that warp tool has reshaped that image so that it naturally lays on any surface, even a non-flat surface. That's a very cool tool. Just one of the many transformation tools that are available under the image menu here in Photoshop Elements. Now, if you want to know more about this tool, how to use it, and how to use the many tools that are available here in Photoshop Elements, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about how to do everything with Photoshop Elements, you'll want the moviepix.com guide to Photoshop Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti, and I wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.